All right, so for 13 chords, now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna build on top of what we, where we left off in the 11 chords, just by keeping the same concept, the same structure, and just adding one more note, which will be the 13th. So we're gonna have that one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11, like we have for the 11th, but we're just gonna add the 13th and extend upon that too as well. So let's look at it. So this is a C major 13. It's not a chord that you will commonly find in a lot of different genres of music, but this is it. The one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and a thirteen, which will be will be A. So this is a major thirteen, and I'm not gonna get into any voicings or anything for this because this is not a chord that I ever use, really ever, and it's not one that you're gonna find yourself using to it as well. So I just want you to see the structure of of basically a major 13 chord. So let's look at a minor 13 chord. How we do that, all we gotta do is lower the third, which is E, flat that E. So that gives us the C minor, okay? And then we lower the seventh, which is B. Okay, and this gives us a minor 13 chord. Another chord that you will not find yourself using really too much because it just has too much tension and it really doesn't sound good really played in a lot of different songs so one thing that I'm going to do is show you a chord that that you are going to find yourself using more and that's more so used with the, the dominant 13 chord so basically dominant you would let's let's look at major this is a major 13 but all for dominant what you would do is just flat the the seven okay which would be B, and it, now it's B flat. So now this is what we have. We have a B flat major seven in my right hand over C, all right? Which is, you know, it's still a C 13, but we omit the three and we omit the five, okay? So we omit the, the E and we omit the G. So if you wanna find this particular voicing, in any key, all you have to do is first identify what the root is. In this particular case, the root is C. And then from there, what you would do is identify the note that's two half steps down from there or the same thing, a whole step. So B flat is a whole step down, also two half steps, same thing. But basically that's how you find this chord. So you, whatever that note is, that's a whole step down you will play the major seventh of that, okay, and the major seven chord. So oh, for B flat, you will play a B flat major seven over C, okay? So first I find the root, and then find what, what the, the whole step down will be, okay? And then you play that major seven. So let's look at it over F, okay? Do the same concept. First find out, you know, the root, that's F, of course, and then you would then identify the note that's a whole step down from that which is E flat, okay? And then you will play the E flat major seven over that F. Let's do it over B flat. Same concept. B flat is our root. Identify the, the note that's a whole step down from it. A flat is that note, and then we will play that A flat major seven. Okay, so that's how you find really any 13th quickly and right away. So this is it for 13 chords. You're not gonna find a lot of major 13s, a lot of minor 13s, because just the tension and the sound, you know, it's not too pleasing to the ear and you won't find yourself using it too often or even hearing it in a lot of different genres of music. But it's good to know how to structure it and how they're built. So from here, we're gonna go to the next section. I'll see you there.